We will protect the cornerstone of our democracy, the right to every eligible citizen to cast a vote that counts. Tomorrow will mark one year since the attack on the Capitol. Attorney General Merrick Garland gives an update on the Justice Department's efforts to find and prosecute the people who participated on January 6th. And that's where we begin tonight. Thanks so much for being here. I'm Yeti Gibson. As of today, the FBI has arrested more than 700 people and they're still looking for 350 others they are calling violent criminals. Those who assaulted officers or damaged the Capitol face greater charges. Those who conspired with others to obstruct the vote count also face greater charges. Those extremist supporters of former President Donald Trump were trying to stop then Vice President Mike Pence from certifying the 2020 presidential election results. Chris Pickles here joining us now. Over the last year, we've seen several people here in Arizona uh, be charged in that attack. That's right, and we went through the Department of Justice records and tonight, we are showing you the seven Arizonans charged in the attack on the U.S. Capitol as we look into the largest and most complex investigation ever conducted by the DOJ. <laughs> Rioters storming the Capitol. Police barricading doors and attacked. Members of Congress fearing for their lives. One year after the attack, federal charges have been brought against more than 725 individuals. The U.S. Attorney General revealing investigators have looked at more than 20,000 hours of video footage and more than 300,000 tips have come in from citizens. We spoke with former U.S. Attorney for Arizona, Paul Charlton. How do they focus on who they want to prosecute when you had thousands of people at the Capitol? So those individuals who are involved in assaulting police officers are going to get the most severe sentences, as they should. And that, the prosecutors hope, will act as a deterrent to others who may think about acting similarly in the future. The cases against Arizonans include Jacob Chansley, known as the QAnon shaman and the only Arizona resident sentenced so far. He pleaded guilty to obstructing the electoral college proceedings and was sentenced to three years in prison. James McGrew was identified by a King James tattoo on his stomach. With no trial date set, federal records show he's jailed in Washington, D.C., facing multiple charges, including attacking police officers. Nathan Etrigan, who dressed as a gladiator and recorded videos for his mother, is facing charges including violent entry and disorderly conduct. Former U.S. Marine McKaja Jackson was tracked down by his distinct bright gloves and flannel shirt. Jackson pleaded guilty and faces up to six months in prison when sentenced in February. Arizona siblings Corey and Felicia Canold face a wide range of charges, including weapons and disorderly conduct. Both have pleaded not guilty and are not in custody. Tim Gionne, who calls himself Baked Alaska, was an Arizona resident at the time and is not in custody. Gionne claimed to be a member of the media, but authorities say he entered congressional offices, cursed at police, and encouraged other protesters not to leave. The January 6th insurrection was an attempt to overturn the election results. But Charlton says bringing misdemeanor charges against many of the protesters is a smart move. Are you surprised we have not seen any more of the serious charges brought, such as sedition? If I am to charge someone as a prosecutor with sedition, it means, Chris, that I have to look into their mind, understand what it was they were thinking, and exactly why it is they entered the Capitol building. It's much easier for me to say, I saw you assault a police officer because I watched it on a video. Now, as we said, Jacob Chansley is serving three years. And the longest prison sentence that anyone has received so far for an attack on the Capitol is five years. Now, Charlton says oftentimes prosecutors will start with the smaller cases as they build to the bigger cases with more serious charges and more serious sentences. I'm Chris Pickle, Arizona's Family.